Dan's worm hat is a Simon Dan channel legend. He has appeared on this channel countless times after we reviewed a lot of his strange beliefs. He is responsible for such classics as Space is flat, get over it. Spheres have no corners. And sperm whales are a hoax. And that's not the only thing he thinks is a hoax because today we're going to look at Hans's top 10 fake animals. <laughs> Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tin Foil Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a huge thank you to the sponsors of today's video, YouGov. I have found a brilliantly easy way to earn cash just by sharing your opinions. With YouGov, you can take online surveys to earn points and then cash rewards. YouGov has polls and surveys about politics, social issues, your favourite brands, sports, public affairs, products and even celebrities. For example, right now they've got surveys about unemployment, climate change and tons more. It's free to join and as a member you'll earn points for completing short surveys and answering questions via their website or app. You'll earn bonus points for completing your first surveys and you'll get rewarded for recommending YouGov to your friends and family as well. And you can actually exchange your points for a £50 cash payout. Of course, I have tried this and I will be using my little bit of extra income to get my brand new puppy some extra doggy treats. Although, he doesn't really deserve them at the moment. Click the link in the description box to start making money right now. Right, back to today's video where Hans Wormhat is counting down his top 10 fake animals. This video is going to be part one where we're going to look at his animals 10 to 6. And then in about a week or two, we'll look at the second part where we count down his top five. Right, away we go. Hans Wormhat, this is a video on the top 10 fake animals. And so we'll start with 10, the anaconda. Seems like an obvious one for Hans, this. A huge animal that is very rarely seen. Have you guys ever been to the zoo or some other place with, with reptiles and... They'll have these giant snakes that just sit there and they never move. It's just a fake snake and so many photos like this exist out there that are just ludicrous, obvious CGI. One of the big memes with the fake animals is they like to make things larger than life. It's part of movie magic. Have you ever heard how when people meet celebrities in real life, they're like, wow, I had no idea they were so short. And it's because movie magic, using angles, using movie magic, anything, CGI these days, they love to make things larger than life, blow them out of proportion, and sell you a story. Okay, but the anaconda really is that big. Look at this clip of one being caught. It's huge. And as you can see, totally real. The anaconda is one of those. Some of them are just mock-up, fake fake reptiles it's even a gag you know how that's that's like one of the things that you can buy in a gag store like fake fake snakes a fake rubber snake so they just make these huge ones and put it in an aquarium type setting in a zoo or something take you into these dark cave area and it just doesn't move it just sits there because it's it's a rubber snake what so all zoo animals have to move all of the time especially when people are looking at them otherwise they are fake Great logic, Hans. The, seriously, if you look up anaconda, this is what you get. You get a bunch of stuff that looks like this. They don't even try. They, it's funny. They go over the top. There are so many anaconda things that look exactly like this. Yes, because they eat large prey. Whole. J-Lo. Anaconda was a big movie. So another big thing with their fake... They're fake animals, as they love to make store. They love to make movies about it. It's just the same way about how psyops. They make them come to life by making a movie about it. So every movie ever made about animals means that that particular animal is fake, does it? Cue all the Marley and Me fans out there about to kick off. Same thing with fake animals. Oh, make a movie about it. Anaconda was huge. This was one of the big movies back in the day. J Lo is the anaconda. Do you know? Want to know what the anaconda is? It's right here. That's the anaconda. This beast. J-Lo's anaconda. Bit harsh. Maybe you should move on, Hans. Okay, nine. Nine on the list. I chose the shoe bill because this came out of nowhere. 
It's just a CGI creation. Do you guys remember when the shoe bill first appeared on the scene? People in the comments would say that doesn't look real. It looks like CGI. That doesn't look like a real animal. The shoe bill. Okay, yes, they do look a bit weird, but as you can see here, they are real. They look real. They interact with their environment when filmed. Definitely not fake. And I think some of them are puppets. Puppetry is a huge part of this fake animal thing. Ah, of course, the puppets. Well, how does a puppeteer do this then? And you can go research fake animal puppets. Uh, the Aflac duck is just a duck puppet and they touch it up with CGI. There's, there's YouTube videos of uh, Komodo dragon puppets. Yeah, there. I don't talk about that in this video, but... Oh, so he thinks Komodo dragons are fake as well. Of course. There's a lot of puppetry involved, but these days a lot of CGI. So Shoebill is number nine on the list. Fake animal. Number eight, I wanted to give something historical. The dodo bird. This didn't just start happening, these fake animals. They fake everything. They lie about everything. Hans, you are seriously going for the dodo here. You're actually going to select this. A bird which was bludgeoned to extinction by the Portuguese and Dutch in the 16th and 17th century. It's documented. We knew there were dodos and we knew how they died out. It's simple. I don't know why animals are this, it's this sacred cow topic. And for me, it's a huge, it's a huge indication of if you're dealing with a gatekeeper or not, if they're willing to talk on this subject, the fake animal thing. I don't know why it's such a heavily gatekept topic, because to me, it's similar to the outer space stuff, outer space lies. Ah, uh, yes, Hans is a space denier as well, it seems. What a surprise. But in that, they're trying to sell you, sell you stuff to take you away from God. I'll get to that in the end. And they're trying to mock the Bible, similar to the outer space stuff. But I don't, this animal thing, people don't want to admit that they've been duped. And gatekeepers really gatekeep this fake animal stuff. Does he mean me? I, I don't know exactly why. They, they like being in on the, the secret. They like being in on these inside jokes. So here is number seven. Giant anteaters are definitely a hoax. A winning entry from the Wildlife Photograph of the Year competition has been disqualified after it was discovered the photo was of a stuffed animal. What do you know? A photograph of a taxidermy anteaters. All great anteaters like this, they're taxidermy or suits that actors can go in. Yes, but Hans, you know what happens during the process of taxidermy, don't you? You know what these stuffed animals were before, don't you? Actual animals, Hans. A human can fit in this suit. Look at that. It's like a Cirque du Soleil fake animal. It's an actor. Look at this amazing shot. Five scientists all concluded the anteater was too similar to a taxidermy specimen. Notice how they love to... Their experts are the most amazing, super smart. They had five experts that could look at this and, and determine, no, that's too similar to a taxidermy version. What? <laughs> No, I think they all agreed that it was too similar to a taxidermy example which they knew of already. And a photographer cheating on a competition is no evidence at all to suggest that that animal in the photo is fake. <laughs> I think they just realized that this was like over the top. Okay, this is over the top, obvious Photoshop. We can't, we're gonna, I don't know. And also they like to disclose. So this is just a form of disclosure. This right here is just total disclosure. They're telling you taxidermy, fake animals. Okay, so number six on the list. Oh my days, what is this going to be? Do you see where this is going? Rope climbing robots. Sloths are not real animals. Ah, sloths, of course. Now, this is the first animal on this list that I've actually seen with my own eyes. Moving, without a puppeteer or CGI. I'd love to see what Hans's reasoning is here. They're animatronics and... People like David Attenborough are big phonies, they're actors. Don't you dare go after Sir David Hans, I will not be having that. And the reason that they're, they're so acclaimed for their acting skills is because their ability to make it seem like they're taking it so serious. Their ability to sit in front of an animatronic and sell it like it's a real, living, breathing animal. Ah, animatronics! That's what I was looking at, was it, when I thought I was looking at a sloth? Right. That's why these... 
these people get so so revered and knighted and because they're big phony deceivers fudge you hans fudge you slaws are a big one i mean just look that's cgi you can just tell that's cgi sometimes i've seen some sloth images that it's clearly someone like took a picture of their dog's face and put it in here and then they tell people it's a sloth hang on hang on so you're saying hans that people take a photo of their dog's face and then photoshop it onto the body of what by the way and then claim that that animal is a sloth sure hans sure look at that this is coming out of guinness world records Life in the slow lane. It just happens to be laying back like on a on a recliner or something. That's CGI. That's not a real animal. That's just an animatronic. Look how strange. It's a robot. It looks exactly like these robots. Yes. Yes. This looks exactly like this. Doesn't it? What total nonsense. Right, well, there we go. We'll take a break from Hans's top 10 animals for now, and we'll review his top five next week or the week after. I wonder what makes up his top five. Guesses in the comments down below, people. Thank you so much for watching today. It truly is appreciated, but we are done for now. It's another Tim Ford Tuesday, all done and dusted. I do hope you enjoyed it. Again, thank you very much. If you did enjoy this particular episode, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And if you really enjoyed it, hit that like button as well. Just enough time to once again thank YouGov for sponsoring today. Remember, click that link in the description to start earning money today. I have been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a fantastic week and I'll see you all on Friday for the return of Mikey Smith. Yes, the guy that peed in a live stream. See you then.